Welcome! This video will demonstrate in detail how to set up the Spawn HD 720 to enable remote gameplay access to your Xbox 360. When you get your HD 720, the package will include the box, its accessories, and a getting started guide. Before setting up the box, you will need to follow the instructions in steps 2 and 3 of the getting started guide to register for an account on the Spawn Labs website and to download and install the Spawn Player software on your computer. Once you've done this, you are ready to set up the HD 720. The setup wizard will guide you through this process step by step. To launch the setup wizard, click the Windows Start menu, then Spawn Labs, and then Setup Wizard. Sign in using the username and password you created when you registered for your Spawn Labs website account. The first step is to connect the power supply to the box. The next step is to establish network connectivity by connecting the Ethernet cable from the box to a port on your router. The HD720 does not have wireless connectivity built in, so you will need to have an Ethernet port available near where your game console and HD720 are set up. In the next step, the setup wizard automatically finds the box on your network. The box will handle its networking configuration automatically if you leave it in dynamic mode, but you can also manually set it up with a static IP address if desired. Next, the box checks its software against the newest available release and automatically updates itself if needed. You are now ready to set up your Xbox 360. If you want to play in high definition, choose Component Video. Otherwise, for standard definition, choose Composite Video. Next, connect the audio and video from your console to the box. Connect the large end of the Xbox 360 component cable to the Xbox and connect its jacks to the in ports of the Component 1 section on the HD720. If you're going to play in high definition, you must also be sure that the switch on this cable is set to HDTV. Next, you will need another set of standard component video and stereo audio cables. These are not included with the Spawn HD720, so you'll need to buy these cables unless you have an extra set sitting around. Connect the jacks from these cables to the out ports of the Component 1 section, and connect the other end to a set of input jacks on your TV. This sets up a configuration known as pass-through, so that you can always see and play your games on your TV or stream them to a computer without having to rewire anything. Note that the HD720 does not natively support HDMI, because HDMI often includes encryption that prevents streaming of games. Component video cables support full 1080p video, so you can use component cables and play 1080p on your TV. For remote gamepad control, simply connect the small end of the USB cable to the port labeled console on the front of the box, and connect the other end of the cable to a gamepad port on the console. There is one unusual aspect to remote control of the Xbox 360. Unlike any other console, Microsoft has built the X360 with special security authentication embedded into its controllers. As a result, you will need to buy a wired USB X360 controller and leave it plugged into the gamepad port on the front of the HD720 to satisfy the security requirement. The Spawn HD720 comes with one Spawn gamepad adapter built in. This built-in adapter is what we just finished connecting with the USB cable. This will enable one remote user to play the X360 at a time. Or, for example, you could be playing your X360 on your TV while a friend plays co-op in the same game session remotely using the Spawn Player. If you want to support two or more simultaneous remote players, you will need to buy and connect external Spawn gamepad adapters for each additional remote player. The HD720 currently supports up to two external adapters. Next, the HD720 automatically updates the controller software for the gamepad adapters on your system. In order to remotely turn your console on and off, you'll connect the infrared cable to the box and point the transmitter end of the cable at the infrared receiver on the front of your Xbox. You may also want to use a piece of tape to hold the IR transmitter in place so it doesn't get bumped out of position. You are now ready to test remote play. Simply plug a wired USB X360 game controller into your computer, click the big green play button, and the spawn player will launch and connect to your console. If the console is off, it will be turned on automatically. 
you should see the video from your console within a minute. You can use the X360 game controller to navigate your console's menu system and make sure everything is working properly. At this point, you have successfully set up your Xbox 360 so that you can play it around your home on your wired or wireless home network. To enable remote play from other locations across the internet, click the Setup Internet Access link. To enable remote play across the internet, you will need to open a range of TCP ports on your router firewall and forward those ports to the IP address of the HD720. This page tells you the TCP port range you must open and forward as well as the IP address of your box. This process can be a little tricky for the typical user, so there are links provided to videos that show how to do this for some of the most popular home routers. And if you still have problems, you can always contact Spawn Lab support for help. After opening and forwarding the TCP ports, you can check that you have done this correctly by simply clicking the Test Internet Access link. This will run a test and report if everything is ready for remote play across the internet. And that's it! If you still have any questions after watching this video, please feel free to drop us an email at sales at spawnlabs.com. Thanks for checking us out, and we hope you enjoy gaming anywhere and anytime.